it's me. Do you remember me? I'm really sorry I disappeared, guys. I was keeping you up to date a little bit about what's been going on with my dad on the community page. I think it's not so secret that it looks like we have to move, so I've been a little stressful about that. So now it turns out we don't have to do that until next year. It also turns out that my dad is gonna be okay. What's not going to be okay is my friggin' hair. I, for the past week or two, my hair has disintegrated. And I have tried, guys. Finally, the last time I washed my hair a few days ago, I was smart enough to realize that it's over moisturized and I needed some protein. My last wash day, I used uh, this first, the Curl Smith Miracle Shield. Hello, can you focus? Yeah, there we go. Like a protein spray, right? So I used this and I actually had a decent wash day a few days ago, but it fell apart the next day. The next day, and I mean, this is just, I barely, I mean, it's a little better because I have some curls now, but I need to do a whole last protein bond treatment thing. So I got Curlsmith bond, bond salve thing and we're gonna do it together. And I'm like freaking out because I've never had anything like this ever happen. Let's start at the beginning. And in the beginning is I need to cut off some ends. So that I think that'll help. This is gonna be a wonky wash day what I'm doing. I'm gonna have a haircut in it. I'm doing this bond treatment and normally my hair does not like protein at all and that's how I got in this mess because I wasn't... I was... I'm gonna wet down my hair and I'll show you quickly how I how I trim my hair. It's like a triple unicorn. I just had um, not a meltdown but slightly because... Oh, look at Rosie. Rosie's sick of hearing that. That's the thing. I've been so stressed out about this. It's like such a first world problem and nobody cares. But this has been stressing me. Look how straight it is. I feel like I'm going to start crying. Okay, so what I'm going to do is basically a triple unicorn cut. Editing, Justine. I just want to let you guys know that there's a link to the haircut that I'm doing here in the description. Those directions are much more clear than mine. So definitely look at that first before you do it yourself. Actually, maybe this is a good time to try I just, to help with all my problems. Because my hair, I don't know, I guess gets overloaded with moisture easily. So I got the low porosity weightless leave-in because I need to use like weightless products for real. This I've seen, you really only need a really little bit. So, and I only need a little bit of leave-in to begin with. So I'm going to take like, I got like the smallest dab will do you of this stuff. And if I don't like this stuff, because this is my first time, just I'm just using this for my whole head. If I don't like it, I'm about to be, uh, what do you call it, clarifying my hair, so. Anyway, all right, let's see. Oh, wow, I like this. Wow, I can feel it melting the tangles away. Oh my God, this stuff is heavenly. Do you see this? Wow. Oh my God, my hair loves this. Shea Moisture, low porosity, weightless leave-in. Oh my God, my hair loves this. Are you serious? Oh, that just changed my mood immediately. Oh my God. Oh, I could have even used even less of this. I love this. I love this. I love this. I have a feeling this is gonna like change the game for me because the thing is, is my hair is thirsty. It tends to be dry. Like it's like when I don't use a leave-in, my hair misses it. But leave-ins also tend to wear my way my hair down. <laughs> Whoops, do I even own a hair tie? <laughs> all right, this is all right, this is as close as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna put my hair up in a unicorn at the top of my head. I think most of you know what the unicorn cut looks like. Oh my god, my hair ad loves this leave-in. It's unbelievable. I also got their low porosity shampoo and conditioner. So what you know, I got that for when I get my hair out of this damaged state it's in right now. I don't know if you can see this cut. I'm kind of off the screen a little bit. I should really do this with my glasses on, actually. Oh, no. I wish it. <laughs> oh, good thing I have curly hair. Okay, I think I finally got a good cut. I don't know. I needed to take a good bit off, so it's all right. Let's see what these layers look like. Okay. Oh, that feels so much better, having that all cut off. Editing to scene here. This next part is actually not in the instructional video for the haircut. I just took length off myself here because I'm trying to help the damage. I, I thought that maybe it would help the curls bounce back if I had shorter, shorter hair. So what I ended up doing that's not in this video was I did one more unicorn cut, like the full one up top, like just to even out the layer results, you know, to make it more uniform. So just so you guys know. So what I do here is I just do that 
and I'm literally just gonna like cut across. It's not sophisticated. I just like to, I just cut off visually what I wanna cut off. Like there's no, I should have a method that makes sense, but I don't. Oh, there's hair everywhere, but that's okay cause I got a broom. I'm gonna do my other layers too. These need to be shorter, but I need to take some length off. Basically I just cut where it starts to look crappy. Like it, the, they start to like split a little bit, you know? I think that's why they call them split ends. Yep, I'm just gonna do that. That's it. I'm gonna cut about the same much over here. All right, now we're gonna do another cut, but we're just, you'll see, I'm doing a ponytail, but it's just gonna be like the front half of my hair. Like, yeah, just like that, like right in front of my ear. But we're gonna do, you're gonna, or I'm, why am I saying you? I'm not, don't follow my instructions. Like, I'm not good at this. All right, I'm gonna hold it up and then I'm actually gonna cut like diagonally just because I really don't know why. I can't explain the rhyme or reason. I'm just doing what the video says because this is what I did last time and it came out beautiful, so. All right, I gotta hold it up and then you cut diagonally, like from corner to corner. See what I'm doing? Probably not. A little bit. And cut up. Oops. Hopefully that was correct. I think so. I'm gonna cut up. All right. Let's see what this looks like now. Do do do. Oh, I'm so glad I cut those layers. I'm just gonna cut like these shortest little bang layers just a little bit oh no i hope i didn't cut these way too short I and mean, i think they look okay right now okay well i got hair everywhere that actually took this whole clip was 29 30 minutes now so i thought that this would be a lot shorter these look the speaking of shorter oh no I and mean, this is them when they're wet oh no well the good news is i don't think this is too short to tie up my hair feels amazing after like what i did was i clarified it with uh oh the pacifica purifying the the pacifica a clarifier and the clarifying uh, conditioner. Ugh, I love those clarifiers. I actually bought those special for this wash day. So here's the big guns. I got the Bond Curl Rehab Salve. Apply generously on damp hair until it is fully saturated. Leave on for a minimum of 15 minutes longer if desired up to an hour. Oh, this smells heaven. Oh my God. It's like I want hair damage so I can do this more often. This smells amazing. I think I'll be able to get a couple treatments out of this little bottle, so that's good. Especially now that I cut my hair. I really wanted to cut my hair before I freaking did this so I don't waste product. Now from what I've like heard of like, I've watched so many reviews and apparently this is like a pretty gentle bond treatment. Like it's kind of, from what I understand, it's kind of foolproof, foolproof. Is that how do you say it? You can't mess it up, basically. I want to make sure I get it up to the roots, because friggin' I feel like my hair has gotten awful straight up there. Right, I am fully expecting kind of a wonky wash day, because I have a wonky wash day when I cut my hair to begin with, because my hair is kind of in shock after I give it a trim. All right, I'm gonna keep going, make sure it's really saturated. Yeah, I'm gonna give it, it took me like seven minutes to apply, so I guess I'll give it like 15, 20 minutes. My hair isn't that damaged, for real, so it's not like I got like bleach damage. Okay. I just rinsed it out. Oh, look at it. It's actually curly again. I am not brush styling because I'm wondering if all the brush styling is messing with my curl pattern a little bit. We're not doing that today. Okay, so I'm starting off with the uh, Miracle Shield. It's like heat protectant. It's a step one kind of product serum thing. the miracle shield in and next i'm gonna come with this i've used this once and i wasn't crazy with the results but it may have been because i didn't start off with a protein the instructions say to start with a golf ball sized amount yeah that's about a golf ball right i accidentally used way too much of this last time so
got all that product dispersed. Cause my hair, I mean, don't get me wrong, my hair feels good, but it feels different. It's around four o'clock, I'm gonna let this air dry. It's around, well, it's around 4.20, so <laughs> I'm gonna relax for a bit, let it air dry, and then I'm gonna diffuse it, and we'll see if my curls are back. And then tomorrow we'll see if my curls went back away or what happened. I really want to see if this protein helps me out. All right, I know that there's too much product in here. So my hair type, I really need to be light-handed. So uh, at least the curls are definitely back though. Fluff it out. Okay. Oh, it's so soft and fluffy. <gasps> Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> oh, Carl Smithy, spoil me. Really? Wow, look at this. My hair's so like bouncy and they're, like, um, <laughs> and it's so full. What? It is so soft. Okay, well, this is possibly the narkiest video I've made in a while. I'm gonna put this up. making sure that nothing's pulling too hard so I don't end up with those weird long straight pieces. I don't know if that's what's causing that. Anyway, got it up in a weird thing there. Actually really eager to see how this keeps. All right, there we go. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I woke up so hot. So I was like, oh man, well, let me take my curls out and see how they're looking. And they just look so, that's like, that's horrible. These are horrible horrible what even is that I, I can oh my god okay good morning it is the next day i had like a meltdown last night i just showed you guys a, a bit of it before i subject myself to this <laughs> by that i mean taking my cap off investigating my hair seeing what's going on i feel like my hair got effed up with this first heat wave with this horrendous humidity that we've been having that i can't recall us ever having humidity this bad Maybe I'm just being dramatic, but I mean, my hair rejected it completely. My so anyway, so there's that. That was a part of it. Humidity is a part of summer, just being whatever. What else? All right, this year I have been swimming much more than I did last year, just because we've had like a good summer for it. Pool water is freaking gorgeous, though it is full of freaking chlorine, right? Rambling. Let's just let's just look at it and see. What <laughs> what it's looking like this morning. Okay, it's still improved. I will get like, honestly, the bond cell, but, but this part of my hair is, looks great. Okay. This part of my hair makes me wanna cut bangs, which I am going to like after the summer because I'm not gonna deal with bangs over the summer. All right, let's take this out. I did that with my chest because it's much better than I thought it would be. Oh. Oh my god. What was I seeing last night? Was I was it because I didn't have my glasses on that it looked that bad? Okay, so let's take a look at what I'm looking at. There's still definitely too much product in here. I can oh my god. Huh. At least it's curling. Like before my treatment it was straight. Hey, actually I'm actually kind of happy with the results of this. So I can't wait to wash my hair again. I did way too much product. I'm using the wrong product. I know why a lot of people love Curlsmith. It is super moisturizing. My hair can't handle it. <laughs> I need to clarify more often in my opinion and get this build up off. I'm definitely gonna do another bond treatment, I think. Just not for maybe two weeks or so. What do you guys think? That's another reason why I'm posting this is because I'm trying to get some advice, <laughs> I guess. Well, maybe this is some bond salve that I didn't rinse out well. It was probably a mistake that I washed my hair before the bond salve. I was probably supposed to, supposed to wash that out. I don't know. So I'm gonna do that different next time. Get it guys, this is so first world and stupid that I'm, I've been so upset about this. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for putting up with me. I feel like I never wanna talk about my hair again. I've been so preoccupied with this issue. Well, actually, I don't even want any comments about my hair. I don't even want, you know what? I don't even wanna post this. <laughs> But I, but I gotta edit and post it now, so. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I'll be back soon. I was so over it. 
that the footage you just saw, most of it's from Sunday when I did the treatment. And now it's Wednesday. Like, it's 3.36 p.m. I just finished editing. <laughs> so I was, and I still am, like, so over this. But friggin', I guess I just need to keep clarifying my hair and use less heavy products and a little more protein. And that's that. That's what I'm taking from this wash day. Oh, I wanted to say that all the products I used, I listed in the description in the order in which they appeared. In case you're looking for anything, nothing sponsored. I don't know how to do that. Um, yeah, so these were all just my honest opinions after I spent my own dang money. All right, I think I'm finally friggin' done talking about this. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.